It's NBA action on EA Sports. I'm Ed Cohen. Great to be joined by Jay Williams for what should be a terrific matchup here tonight. We're at the Golden One Center in downtown Sacramento. Tonight, it's the Sacramento Kings taking on the Cleveland Cavaliers. Opening tip belongs to the Kings, and they'll have it first to start the fourth as well. We're underway in Sacramento. Short jumper off the mark. Sexton. Can't connect. Shot was forced. It's easy. Force guys into low percentage shots. That's the reason why we're big into stats. It was all provided to you before the game in the scouting report. De'Aaron Fox to Barnes. Five on the shot clock for Sacramento. Going to launch beyond the arc. Buddy Heald, born scorer from the Bahamas. I love the pure confidence on that jumper. He takes that three despite the defender being right in front of his face. That's borderline disrespectful. Sexton. Here comes the screen. Nothing going here on that drive. Buddy Heald to Harrison Barnes. Off the assist. As a team, when you establish your dominance in the paint early, it's critical to your offense because it eventually opens up the perimeter down the stretch. Sexton. Screen coming. Cass with four to shoot. Has a look. He shoots. Oh, off the mark. Into the front court. It's Fox. Counting down towards one minute to play here in the opening quarter. He gets it. And that may not have been a gimme, but that layup at the rim definitely chips away at the pride of the defense. Ball in possession of Cleveland. Probing the defense. Old school. Backs his man down for the basket. You feel that? I see the confidence building. Fox with it. Up five. To Barnes. De'Aaron Fox to Harrison Barnes. Finishing inside the paint on that one. I like that aggression early. You never just settle for jumpers. You attack, you attack, you attack. Then when they back off, you'll have room to shoot that, Jay. Has a chance. Can't connect. Defense did its job that time. Your contest was great because of your proximity to the player. You forced his follow-through to be cut short, which made him short-arm the shot. Not that time. You see, this is something that everybody has, but some people choose to use it or not. I'm glad you choose. It's good to beat the buzzer. He got it off just in time. So count the basket, and they're back within striking distance at the end of the first quarter. On to the second quarter. Neither team sees control in the first. Some interesting things, though, certainly on display. And when both teams are playing at this level, it just continues to reaffirm that I was excited to watch both of these teams play this entire week. It's been a solid game so far, but this has a chance to be a great one down the stretch. Able to convert inside. Old school equals high percentage. 
Fox into the front court. Leads three to Heald. Horns. With the fade away. Burns him for the basket. Hand down, man down. You got to get up and contest the shot. Cavaliers with the basketball. Sexton. Reset here. Let's see what they do. Sexton. They'll get it down to Thompson. Ah, oh, can't miss those. Fox across the timeline. Leads five. To Heald for three. Can't connect. Hey, lock up, lock up. Sexton. Scores from the post. There you go, finally. Shoot your shot. Into the front court, it's Fox. Up by three. To Barnes. The Kings now with four to shoot. Buddy Heald to Fox. Beyond the arc for three. Fox bothered just enough on that one. Deep left corner. Sexton. Had a good look there, but it's no good. It's Sacramento ball. De'Aaron Fox to Heald. Screen coming. Buddy Heald. From the painted area, won't go down. Nice follow-up on the dunk there. If you didn't dunk that, then we would have to talk about it. Sexton. Won't go. Two points to the board. Desperation shot here from half court. That's it for the first half. It's the Kings with the lead. Thanks, Ed. Let's get right into the action here. The Kings were the dominant team in that first half, without question. It was their playmaking, the way they gave each other scoring opportunities. That really impresses me. I love seeing unselfish basketball like that. Have a look at the leading scores for the Sacramento Kings. The Cavaliers did a lot of things wrong in that opening half. There isn't enough time to get into all of their problems, but I'll tell you this, they need to try to get better. Have a look at the leading scores for the Cleveland Cavaliers. Game track, field goals. Here's a team that might just be one or two adjustments away from what's needed to turn things around. They still have time to make up for a lackluster first half. Player of the half. The field speaks for itself. He's definitely the player of the half. Now he just got to give an encore to get his team to win. 
who was cold. Every player that makes it to the NBA is a great athlete, but even the best players have off nights. Today has just been one of those nights for this guy. Here we go with the top three plays from the first half. Number two. Number one. And that concludes our halftime report. Thanks for joining us. And see you again after the game. Hey, Switch, I got him. Sexton. To the rim. Lays it up and in. There you go. I like seeing his scoring coming from unlikely sources. It's a Kings now with the ball. De'Aaron Fox to Heald. Surveys the floor. Curling inside. Harrison Barnes. Not a busy night, but effective. Two for two. That's lunch pail business right there. Don't worry about the no call. Keep powering through. Sexton. And he hits. Fox with it. His guys lead here early stages third quarter. Nothing going here on that drive. The rebounds cleared by the Cavs. Baseline drop. Oh! He sent that one to the third row. He was locked in. That was impressive. Fires the three, gets it to go. Coach cannot be happy with that closeout. But it was how he created the shot. As a defender, there's a tendency to stand up when you stare at the ball. Offensive player recognized that, continuously moved without the ball. Bang, that's how he set it up. Thompson to Colin Sexton. Trying to cash in. Osman shot won't go. Oh, I see how you're playing this chess match. That's what you keep doing defensively. Keep baiting him and luring him into shooting that jump shot. Exploit him. De'Aaron Fox, down low for Barnes. Gets toughness right there. Physical inside, gets it to go. In the paint, you need to finish just like that. Sexton. Here comes the screen. To Colin Sexton. A lot of contact on that play. He plays through it and scores. And did you see the lift on the shot? Did you see the ball release off the hand? To be able to have the concentration to finish with such a feathery touch in the midst of contact, that's something special to watch. Nothing going here on that drive. Cruises inside for two. As my mother would say to the defender, A for effort, F for results. Jr. A couple of free throws on the way. For his career, 68%. Knocks down the first. Second one off the mark. He goes one for two. A shot by heel, no good. There's the buzzer. Three quarters complete. The Kings are out in front.
The Kings have the basketball as we begin the fourth quarter. They have clearly been the better side so far. Jay, that's reflected on the scoreboard. Well, the cardinal rule in the game of sport is whenever you go into the fourth quarter, it's 0-0. Zero, zero. You have to play the game with the scoreboard saying 0-0. Zero, zero. And if you can win that game by double digits, then you've done your job in the fourth. Terrific vision from long range. That won't go. Basket's good on the follow. Way to stay with it. And attention to detail is everything for a professional scorer like that. Actually getting it done the hard way there. Fox into the front court. Lead stance at seven. Tough looking shot there. Still gets it to go down. Woo, did you see that? Eyes to the rim and the rest was all net. And he'll go to the foul line. Ed, as a defender, you cannot, I repeat, you cannot foul in the act of upward motion into your shot. Your timing needs to be better. Larry Nance Jr. has got two shots coming, shooting 50%. Some yes, some no in this contest. First one goes down. Two for two at the line. Kings with the ball. Free throws coming up. Ed, the reality is that good jump shooters know how to get those calls. Overall, though, there's less flopping in the game, which is great. But there's something uncanny about certain players' abilities to get those calls on a regular basis. He missed the first one. Second one goes. It's a one of two trip. and going here on that drive. To Colin Sexton. Green, get over, get over. Go, Five on, to go. shoot for Cleveland. And the rebound pulled down by Barnes. To Fox. Short jumper won't go down. The most important thing a shooter can do is continue to shoot. The defense is always going to give great effort. Got a piece mm. of it. Jumping out the gym right now, Ed. Great anticipation. Good look that time, but off the mark. To Fox. Shot clock for Sacramento. Knocks it down from mid range. No doubt about where that one was headed. Sexton. Here comes the screen. To Colin Sexton. Cavs with four to shoot. Here's a chance from long range. Well defended. And look, sometimes you don't have it going every single night. Maybe utilize yourself as a decoy and get some teammates involved with your passing. Screen coming. De'Aaron Fox. Deep right corner. To Fox. Has a look. Shot by Fox, no good. Long key from three quarters. It's good! It's good! At the buzzer from beyond half court. Incredible! It's the Kings who get the victory as they take care of business at home. That'll wrap things up. For Jay Williams and our entire crew, I'm Ed Cohen.
This has been a presentation of the NBA on EA Sports. Hey everyone, it's Jalen Rose, and it's time for the EA Sports post game wrap up. The Kings came away with the victory in this one. And some people may disagree, but I think their ball movement was the biggest key to their victory. Still, I think we'd all agree that they made the defense look slow and confused throughout this matchup. Check out the leading scores for the Sacramento Kings. The Cavaliers put up a fight, but didn't get their hands raised at the end. And it's always going to be a challenge to win in this league. If you can't find one guy to get you at least 10 points, they were unable to do that. Game track. Field goals. The Cleveland Cavaliers were terrible with their shooting, and I'm pretty sure that's not news to anyone that's out there. What will become news, however, is if their poor shooting starts to create turmoil within the team. Player of the game. Harrison Barnes earned the award the hard way, and that's by doing it around the rim. He took the elbows, put in the effort, and came away with a significant number of rebounds. He did plenty to deserve the recognition. Who was cold? This isn't the segment you want to be in, of course. But even the best players find their way into this part of the show. Here are the top three plays from the game. Number two. Number one. And that does it for our post-game wrap-up. On behalf of ESPN on EA Sports, I'm Jalen Rose. Thanks for joining us.